Welcome to Read by Robin. Today we will be reading Bats at the Beach, both written and illustrated by Brian Lies. So let's begin. Sun slips down and all is still, and soon we can't tell sky from hill. Now from barn and cave and rafter, bats pour out with shrieks of laughter. The rising moon can grow no fatter, and sky lights up with gleeful chatter. Quick, call out, tell all you can reach. The moon is just perfect for bats at the beach. Launching out into the breeze, we sail above the darkened trees, flying fast to wet our feet where land and foamy ocean meet. At last we hear the deep bass thump as waves on seashore crash and bump. Now the shoreline spreads below. We pull wings in and down we go. We hurry down to test the ocean. Don't forget the moon tan lotion. What's the first thing we should do? So many games before nights through. Like playing with the stuff we find, which others must have left behind. Burying friends from chin to knee, we're scratchy where no sand should be. Making friends from other places, with different foods and different faces. Or sailing to terrific heights, taking turns at being kites. Little bats dig their sand caves deep, as old bats lie in the moon asleep. There's really no more thrilling ride than surfing on a summer tide or sailing in the wing boat races with salty sea spray in our faces. Now it's munch time, what's to eat? Baskets grown with yummy treats, beetles, ants, and milkweed bugs, crickets, moths, and pickled slugs, damselflies or salted skeeters, no room here for picky eaters. Bug mallows toast on slender sticks, while cousins do their ocean tricks. And later on, though stomachs hurt, we'll try to s the snack bar for dessert. There's always room for a snack. Quick, don't miss it, the old bats are singing, the bat song that they learned when they were first winging. Music rolls on, but no more games, as embers pop within the flames. Little ones climb onto leathery lap, determined to rest, but not to nap. Then east sky purples, sun is coming. A last few notes of banjo strumming bring our beach night to an end, so say farewell to newfound friends. Quick, let's go, let's fly away, we've got to be home before it's day. Flutter homeward, drained and weary, small bats doze off, tired and teary. Day birds start to chirp and peep, now back to crack and crevice creep. We sigh and snuggle close together to dream about the moony weather. Shh, now sleep, the moon's out of reach, the night was just perfect for bats at the beach. And then they've added the Bat Hymn, sung to the tune of the Battle Hymn of the Republic. I don't know that hymn, but I will try and sing this for you. Mine ears have heard the stillness of a quiet summer night. There is nothing like a meal of moths while you are still in flight. We catch mosquitoes in midair with ears instead of sight. Until the autumn comes, going to hibernation, going into hibernation, and we won't wake up till spring. We have celebrated with the summer sand between our toes, but September brings an end to it, as everybody knows. We bats don't like the chilly air, it makes us want to doze until the heat returns. Some of us return to caves or into attics creep, others crawl into a tree and sleep into our, slip into our sleep. Still others head down south to where the heat is always deep, until the springtime comes. That was Bats at the Beach along with a new bat song. Unfortunately, I don't know the hymn, so again, that was not how it should be sung properly. Uh, this is children's content, so you won't be able to comment below, but you can still like the video and follow the channel. Thank you very much for watching.